Good morning. Can't remember if you said yesterday or not, but I thought I was going to be cleaning out a grain bin this morning. But Dad came up this morning, had our morning powwow, and he seems to think that the uh, wet spots that we weren't able to plant might be able to plant at least some of those. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. So that's top priority right now. We've got to maybe run the Turbo Max over to help dry them out. And uh, yeah, that's what we're working on right now. Crossing looks good. Field looks good too. Over here at the field that we planted with that uh, white planter and fence tractor, this was corn after corn. So I don't know if that's what's going on, but there's just looks like we got something eating on the corn. It's kind of a thin stand in places. It just seems like it's getting thinner by the day. So we'll walk out here and see what we can find. Getting pressed by the bench. Pretty thin through here. What ain't thin, there's a stand, it's just the slugs you're working on. The water's a hard rain worship stuff in here. Where we're at, let's go. Well, when you have cool, dry weather like we've had all spring, I mean, it's kind of gotten warm, but it's always been wet. It's prime environment for slugs. We're 99% sure that's what this is causing this damage. But from what I understand, as long as the corn is not in the V5 growth stage, this will grow out of it, providing there's still corn plant left. Right now, the plants that are still in the field, they've just got a lot of leaf damage to them, like this. And uh, at this point in the growth stage, the growing point for that corn crop is in the ground. I think around V5 is when it becomes on top of the ground. So hopefully we get some warm, dry weather to get rid of these bucks. But there's, I mean, this field's hurt. There's definitely no doubt about it. There's places where there's no corn crops left, corn plants left. So I mean, great, there's a bare spot. I don't think much is gonna grow there. One thing that doesn't make much sense to us, the ends for the most part are in good shape. I mean, there's still, there's some foliar damage, but nothing like out there in the center. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know if that would maybe have something to do with this being a more high traffic area, more compaction maybe. I don't know. And uh, this sucks. This is one of our, one of our better fields. I mean, this field's capable of some pretty good yields and highly doubt that happens this year. I and mean, the stands definitely hurt. But nothing you can do about it now. Well, actually, there is a product you could spread on this to kill slugs, but it's kind of price preventative. It's pretty expensive per acre to do. On a side note, the beans don't look bad. Slugs are working on them too, though. But this fit looks pretty good. It always makes you feel good when everything comes up and there's no big holes in the field where maybe like your shutoffs didn't work or there's not a whole lot of overlaps. That's good, but. All right, me, George, and Larry are gonna walk through this crap and pick up sticks, logs, stumps, whatever we can find. And then hopefully dad's gonna run the turbo over it. We thought we were gonna get a plant today, but man, we get out in there, George was walking through there earlier. It's muddy as crap, so I doubt it'll get planted, but maybe if we turbo it and it doesn't rain today, we can plant first thing in the morning. Lunchtime. Hey, you're not working too hard. I'm not. I'll be back. You gotta take a potty break. Must be serious because we were going pretty fast. Hope everything comes out okay for you. Looks like George is back. Let's see if he's wearing the same pants. I see you're still wearing the same pants. Well, I made it. By the skin of my chinny win win. Well, if 
five hours later, we picked up sticks. Uh, still got a cultivated or disket or turbo max it or something, and then we'll probably have to pick up sticks again. But it's too wet in there to plant today. It's probably too wet to. Yeah, we could probably turbo, but I don't know if Dad says with his camera or not. We got a broken hydraulic line on the turbo max, a broken hydraulic line on the field cultivator, and the disc has a flat tire. So I don't know what's going to happen. It's like five o'clock, so I don't know if he's going to try to mess with that today or what. The best way to rehydrate after picking up sticks all day? Hot coffee. The field that is getting eaten alive by the slugs is also the field that the Agco test plot is in, so it is not looking too good over there. Dad's over here running that Turbo Max. I think he might have found a stump. Just a guess. Looks like he drug it for a little while. And there's the stump. We'll get that out of there. I don't think that'll go through the combine very well. Yep, probably not. Dad wanted out. I think he was tired of getting bounced around in here. This is smoothing out pretty nice, but I mean, it's definitely still a rough ride. If you're new to the channel, this ground right here used to be a pine stand. This is the first year that we'll be farming it. The pines were cut a few years ago. We've just been cleaning it up. And finally getting around to where it's plantable. Uh, it's really rough. I mean, you can feel a lot of stump holes and stuff like that, but it's, uh, it's come along pretty good this year so far. I mean, it's not too bad. It's just a rough field still. Right out here in the middle, there's just a windrow of tree stumps. Uh, when we were cleaning out all the stumps, we just, there's so many of them. We were at one time hauling them with the off-road truck and dumping them in a hole over there. And eventually we just ended up pushing them up into a pile. Now eventually we'll, we hope to get that pile of or that wind row out of there, but for now it's just going to lay there and decay for a little bit. We've got a log jam on one of the disc gangs, so I'll fold it up so I can get to the little easier. It doesn't go there. Definitely not the most efficient way to pick up sticks. You got loose hydraulic fitting, turned around, picked this, picked the Turbo Max up, hydraulic wheel shop in there. Must have blew out an O-ring because it's still leaking. That ain't good. How we doing, Dak? Gimme. Quick dinner break, now back to work. I guess I didn't explain what happened to George, his sudden departure. He had a hot date tonight, and Larry had a hot date with a lawnmower. Like he went home to mow his yard, and I think George was going out to eat with his woman. Well, we got a box of O-rings. Let's see if we can't fix this thing. Figures that's what it did. Yep. You know. That well, looks way better than it did this morning. So, I think the plan is to try to plant this first thing tomorrow morning. And then there's a 30 acre wet patch across the road. He's gonna go turbo it. And we're gonna see if we can't plant it tomorrow too. Well, this is this other bean field I was gonna to try to plant tomorrow. Looks like it'll be ready. Yeah, it looks like we'll just be planting that uh, patch we cleaned up this all day today. So. But that's gonna be it for today. Hey, good morning. I was trying to get that ground planned this morning. Uh, right now my tender's empty, my planter's empty, so first things first, we gotta fill up. I say try because there is a chance of rain. The wind's blowing, it feels like it could rain. 
so we'll have to see. It's only 13, 14 acres in that field, so it shouldn't take long. I've said that before, and then the and the wheels literally fell off the planter before. So we'll see. It's always an adventure with that one. I think we need fuel. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna make it without them. Evidence of a few hard days of planting. I can clean this place up a little bit. Well, we'll let this thing fuel up while we fill up with seed, and uh, then we'll go plant that patch. I think I got a little bit of an air leak. Yeah, we just missed a prime Kodak moment. I realized that fuel's been running for a while, so I jumped off there to go check it. And I was in a hurry. See that concrete right there? Right there. Oh yeah, I bet the dust hard. Yep. Working words. See that bucket right there? Worst part is my hand landed in the bucket. Now my glove is wet with diesel fuel mixed water. I'm running right through here and boom, hand lands right in the bucket. Well, at least it wasn't George. He would have broke his hip. There up my airbags were right here beside my truck. Get asked this in pretty much every video I use that air compressor. It's a Volt Air air compressor. I think if you just Google Volt Air or 12 Volt Air or something like that, it'll pop up. Um, warning, you're about to see some leg. Told you I bit the dust good. It's always exciting stuff planting the field for the first time. Hopefully we don't find anything buried like a fence post or tree stump or something like that tear anything up. I think we've got it picked over pretty well. The field looks a lot better than I was expecting. When we started walking back and forth yesterday, I was like, man, just figure when Dad came over here and ran that Turbo Max over, he'd just uncover about as much stuff as we picked up, but it seemed to be the case. Y'all have seen uh, us have a lot of trouble with this planter in the last few videos, the last few planting videos anyways. And I mean, it's been less than ideal, but one thing to keep in mind, this planter has 17,000 acres on it. So it's not like it's a brand new machine. Uh, it's been used, and used quite a bit. So, I mean, it's not uncommon for little things like this to happen. In the years that I've been planting, I've planted with four different kinds of planters, and they've all had issues. So, uh, I guess just part of planting pretty rare that you go a whole year and don't ever have an issue, at least for me. And I've planted with John Deere, so before anyone tells me, go get a John Deere, I had a John Deere splitter planter before I had this planter. It was a good planter, but it also had issues. All right, first trip around this field, we're recording our boundary too. I don't even know how many acres it is, so once we record that boundary, it should tell us. Exciting stuff. This field has not been farmed in 30-some years, probably since my dad farmed it in the 70s. So I guess that'd be 40-some years now. Alright, we got an acre count now. There's 12.5 acres in there. So. I thought there was 13 just by measuring it on the, on the Google Earth. But, you know, we're going around some stuff. and You can see this tree line right here. I mean, you gotta go around it. Probably tear it out eventually and just farm this all together as one field. That'll make this and that field about together be a little over 30 acres. Look at my climate map. You can still see all the uh, the ground before we cleaned it up. It looks kind of weird planting on that. Well, this didn't go as planned. I need this rain to hold off for about 15 minutes. Or well, we've never farmed this before. 
Uh, we're putting some dry fertilizer on it. Ideally, we would have liked to put that on before we planted it, but you know, we're just trying to get this in the ground right now. So, I'm sure this field also needs lime. I'm pretty sure pine needles are acidic. But we haven't soil tested this yet. This will get soil tested uh, this fall. Then we'll know for sure. All right, beat the rain, get this in. It's a relief. But being honest, this should have been planted probably two years ago. But been kind of one of them deals where we work on it when we get the chance. So we might come over here and clean up on this for hot and heavy for a day or two and then we end up doing something else. But it's planned now finally. So I guarantee you it makes more money now than it did last year. Actually that's not true. We could lose money on it this year. I hope not. Man, we got lucky. I mean, I'm only I got a quarter mile up the road, the road's soaked. So we were right on the line of that rainstorm, but we got her done. Yeah, park this thing till the next wet patch dries out. I don't know, hard to tell when that'll be. Hey guys, I know I kind of teased you with this car a little bit, um, two, two, three videos ago, but I promise you there will eventually be a video highlighting this car, just, just not right now. So until then, here it is in all its glory.